or you're getting lessons from a flight instructor, here are 10 things that highly successful instructors do. Number one, be early or at least on time. It sounds simple, but you just got to show up. If you have a block of time with a student from 3 to 5 p.m., when are you going to show up? Being on time in aviation is really important. Number two, be specific. When giving instructions, try to leave out ambiguous terms or phrases like give it a smidge of power. How about increase RPM by 200? Be specific. Number three, prepare your students for your behavior. I brief all my left seat pilots with three things the first time I fly with them. Number one, we're going to know who's flying the airplane. Number two, if either of us wants to go around, we're going to go around. And number three, when you're landing, you may see me shift my hands and feet around the flight controls. That doesn't mean that I don't have confidence in your abilities, but as an instructor, I'm just getting ready. Number four, stay up to date and not just up to date on regulations and maneuvers, but what's happening in general aviation. There's so much information to stay up to date. We've got YouTube, podcasts from Opposing Bases, AOPA, Aviation News Talk are all fantastic resources. Attending FAA or EAA webinars monthly is a fantastic way to stay up to date. Number five, a successful instructor is having fun and creating an atmosphere of fun for their learner. Every once in a while, I have a student who's just beating themselves up about how poor their short field landing is. At that moment, we need to bring fun back onto the flight deck. If the student seems to be struggling, I'll say, let's just have fun with this landing. 99% of the time, the landing turns out to be amazing. It's because the pressure was released, they relax, and they have fun. That's why we're doing this, to have fun. Number six, challenge the status quo. A lot in flying hasn't changed for a long time. There have been myths and uh, lessons passed down for years that we don't question, and we should. On this channel, we're going to challenge these ideas and try to bless some of these aviation myths, ultimately to make us all safer. Number seven, a successful CFI should be putting the student first. They're paying you to provide a service and education for them. So do that. When you become an instructor, it's not about your time. It is about the student's time. As a CFI, you're a teacher, and that's what you need to do is teach. The best CFIs are wonderful teachers. Good CFIs are taking pictures, videos, and they're celebrating the success of their student. We all have amazing smartphones in our pockets. Snap some pictures or grab a video the first time a student goes into IMC. It goes without saying, this should all be done with safety in mind. It should never be a distraction. Number nine, hold office hours. Remember back in high school or college when the professor would just block off an hour for questions on any topic? Do that for your students too. It's so easy these days to hold virtual office hours so your students have an opportunity to ask you questions. The other good thing about office hours is you as an instructor get some really valuable feedback. What are the things that students are wanting to know? And if you don't want to give your time away for office hours, that's totally fine. And number 10, be humble and keep learning. There's a ridiculous notion by some CFIs that they know everything, and they don't. CFIs make mistakes. They learn lessons every single day. They don't have it all figured out either. I love learning new tips or techniques to be a better, safer pilot. I'm always open to learning. And on the humility front, if you do something dumb, own it. Be humble and learn from it. We can all learn from each other's mistakes. By learning from each other, that's how we collectively get better. What other characteristics or traits do you see in successful flight instructors? Let me know in the comments. See you next time. Safe flying.